Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. It is a very good evening or late night here, actually 12 midnight in Southeast Asia. Wherever you are, around the globe, especially on the continent of Africa, in Europe, in America, Canada, Australia, or right here in Asia with me. Dear friend, you are highly welcome to this very late night edition from Salom's blog. Yes, we have so much to talk about. That is why I have to come your way again. The third video of the day. <laughs> oh yes, the third of the day. Dear friend, you see, few weeks ago, a few months ago, let me put it that way, when Chelsea had problems, I mean, actual problems within the playing body, serious problems within the playing body, we complain a lot about ineffectiveness of our players, inability of our players to deliver on a day. Now, fast forward the past five weeks or so, or six weeks, We've seen a different kind of football under this new head coach, Enzo Maresca. And I have the record here. All the games that were played in the past five, six weeks. I'll be giving you the records pretty soon. But you see, right now, especially today, I've been hearing some sort of news in social media. And I want to call your attention to it. All I've been hearing throughout today is Badia Shelly treat us. Felix was terrible. Moidrick has no brain, etc., etc. For no reason whatsoever. We won the match, hands down, 4-2. Yes. It is true. We had problems in defense, especially the second goal. Yes. But we... Our players delivered what was expected of, of them. That is a win, massive win, 4-2 for that matter. It wasn't a narrow win. No. Listen, none of our players played terribly last night. None of our players that played a game last night played terribly. None. They all executed the manager's instructions. Take the win. And let's move on, dear friends. Take the win and let's move on. It's high time we begin to praise our own players. It's not really easy. Forget it, though. It's not. Listen. For instance, Renato Viega. He is a new signing. I want to show you his statistics on your screen right now. Renato Viega. I came here earlier on today and I made it clear that this guy was monstrous. He was monstrous in his game last night. On your screen right now, that is the statistics of Renato Viega. He scored one goal, you know, you remember? Yes, he scored one goal last night. His first goal for Chelsea. He also gave one assist. He made four key passes. Renato Viega made four key passes. One big chance created by him. Five touches in opposition box. This is a defender, midfielder. Yes, his actual position is to be a defender, center back. But the coach made use of him in a, you know, in a midfield role. Five touches in opposition box. 14 passes into the final third. Three out of three long balls, 100% completed. Two out of two successful dribbles, 100%. Five out of five grand balls won, 100%. One over one area balls won, 100%. Two interceptions and four recoveries. This is an excellent performance from René Viega. No mistake, no margin of error. Four recoveries. That's a giant performance in many ways for Renato Viega. Do you think he did this alone? Who did he complete the passes with? The long balls. Who, was, who did he deliver the long balls to? Who? The recoveries made. 
Who did he pass the bronze boss to? Five touches in opposition box to who? Four key passes, one assist, all those to who? Dear friend, it is to his own players, his own teammates. So let's sit back and enjoy the win. Let's minimize the criticism for a while. Enjoy it whilst it lasts. Dear friends, we won the game 4 1. Gent, yes, they played their heart out and they were happy about the, the score line that they, they got. It's as simple as that. They were happy, they were satisfied with it. They were. You see, tonight, I'm not here to analyze the game. But I came here to call your mind to certain issues about the club. And I will not take much time as well. Enzo Maresca, even whilst having his press conference, he made certain statements. And I want to bring a few to you before I go to some other news items. He said, just because you play today, that was yesterday, doesn't mean you can't play on a weekend. Some players will be getting their Premier League start based on how they currently perform. So the players there are aware, they are aware that they might be called on for the Premier League on Sunday. And so they, they get their all. I heard few people talking about Moidrick. Moidrick this, Moidrick that. Guys, Moidrick performance last night, I wouldn't say it was excellent, but I believe Moidrick has improved. I believe he has improved. He has. Well, I will leave that for your judgment. I, I, I just came in to let you understand that even if our so-called team B has delivered, and I'll prove you. You see, this same team B played some games past. In the last six weeks, we played eight matches. We started with Sevet. We started with Sevet, and we won 2-0. You remember Sevet? Yes. In this same conference league playoff, we won 2-0. We met with Wolves. Uh, and we won against Wolves 6-2. 6-2. Our next opponent was Crystal Palace. That was our toughest game, let me say. We drew 1-1 with Crystal Palace. Chelsea drew 1-1 with Crystal Palace. That was, our, I would say, our toughest game. Because we couldn't penetrate. As a matter of fact, that game, <laughs> that game seems like a loss to me. Then we met Bournemouth. We now we met Bournemouth. Against Bournemouth, Chelsea won 1-0. 1-0, another tough game. We now move from there, we met with West Ham. You can see it on your screen. We won 3-0 against West Ham. The next one again was in the EFL Cup against Barrow. And we won that 5 is it? Yes, 5-0 against Barrow in the EFL Cup. We now met Almighty Brighton. <laughs> Dear friends, Almighty Brighton. And we gave it to them Watu Watu. 4-2 against Brighton. Then we faced Gent. In a space of three days, we faced Ghent, which we won last night, 4-2. Dear friends, I would have been thinking that some of us will begin to think of our next opponent. Because after the international break, we are playing our next game against Nottingham Forest, another stubborn academic school children. <laughs> Nottingham Forest. We call them stubborn academic school children. They can be very, very hard to break down. Nottingham Forest, yes. After that, we'll be going for the international break. When we return, we are facing Liverpool on 20th of October. After Liverpool, we'll be meeting with Panathinaikos in a conference league. Then, we will face Newcastle. Oh yes, Newcastle. The next one again, Newcastle 
again in the EFL Cup before facing Manchester United on 2nd November. These are our next five games after Sunday's game. After meeting Nottingham Forest, this is our next five games after the international break. And this is where our focus must be. We have won the other games. Worst case scenario, we had a draw with Crystal Palace. We move on. Celebrate the victory. Celebrate the win. Let's see what happens next. Now, to some other matters arising. Yes. Enzo Maresca speaking about the standard of the squad. Whether we are ready to compete for the title. Reminds me, the answer he gave reminds me of a statement Almighty Jose Moreno. Legendary Jose Moreno made some years back. <laughs> yes, it reminds me of Jose Moreno's quote. Enzo Maresca was asked whether Chelsea is ready to compete for the Premier League title. This is what he said. He said, competing to win the Premier League, I really don't think we can compete with Man City or Arsenal now. We are not ready. Man City worked with Pep for nine years. Arsenal, five years with Ateta. As three months. The target is to slowly, slowly get closer. The target is slowly, slowly get closer. Means that he is not anxious. He doesn't want to put his place under pressure. I believe we are competing for the title this season. Oh yes, it is my firm belief that we are competing for the title. But it is better we remain the underdogs. Unknown, currently, there's not much pressure on the Chelsea team. You know why? Many did not expect Chelsea to be performing the way we are expecting. All eyes are on Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool and Arsenal. Especially Arsenal and Manchester City. They are the top in town. Then maybe Manchester United because they are not performing. But Chelsea gradually is building something special. That many have taken their eyes and their mind off. And it's helping us. Let's keep it that way. Let's keep Now we are in the top four. Yes. We beat Nottingham Forest. I believe we should be closer to top three. Stage by stage. Slowly, slowly getting closer. That reminds me, like I said, of the quote from Jose Moreno. There are two big horses and one small horse. Two horses and one small horse still drinking milk, growing slowly by slowly. Next year, we'll grow bigger and can compete. There's a way Jose Moreno put it. But he make, used that scenario. He said, two big horses with one small horse. That is now growing slowly. Next year, that can compete with the two big horses. Dear friends, before I let you go, quickly, to some other news. Some other news. Yes. England interim coach. England. England interim coach has released his international team squad. And Kopama is in that squad. Kopama is one of the players from Chelsea called up by the interim coach of England. Yes, Lee Castley has put Kopama in a group of players that could potentially help at left back for England. <laughs> Hey, now every coach wants to have a player that can play multiple positions. Kopama, our goal scorer, is placed at in on the England team sheet that was released at the left back position. A group of players that could play on the left back position. That is the best position that they found for they got for our own Kopama left back. Kopama playing left back for England. Are we serious? Lee Castley, are you serious here? Come on. Does it mean there is no other left back in the whole of the Premier League? I mean, what about you going to the 
championship and even get a left back. If there is no left back within the Premier League, league itself for you, go to the championship. Kopama, number 10, or right winger, you are put him at left back position. Well, it just the, the team sheets. I mean, the squad that we call up. I don't want to believe that in reality, Lee Castle will be using Kopama at left back. I don't want to believe that. Dear friends, before I conclude on Chelsea, because I still have one more news on Chelsea, I want you to hold on and listen to that one. Let me go to Ghana news first. Yes, Ghana head coach Otto Ado has released his squad for the upcoming international break. Yes, he has released the squad this afternoon in Africa for the upcoming Ghana international game. Africa, you know, Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against Sudan on the 10th of October. The Black Stars will host Sudan in Accra on Thursday, October 10th, 2024. Then head to Libya for the match day four encounter on Tuesday, October 15th. So for these two games, the head coach has released his squad. And uh, well, I will not be able to, due to time, I will not be able to mention all the names for you right here. But you can see them on your screen. Thomas, Thomas Pate is right there. Mohamed Kudus is right there. Yes. Uh, Jordan Ayu is right there. Antoine Selom Semenyo is there. Inaki Williams is there. And many others. Dear friends, that is the list released by Coach Otto Ado for the Black Stars. Quickly. Four yellow cards apiece for Mark Kukrela and Wesley Fofana. As you can see them on your screen. Mark Ukrela on four yellow cards, Wesley Fofana on four yellow cards. If they play the next game against Nottingham Forest and they receive another card, making the fifth yellow card, either of them, any more card they'll receive on Sunday will make them ineligible to face Liverpool after the international break. Mark Ugrella and Wesley Fofana are both on four yellow cards heading into Sunday's game. If they get another one versus Forest, they will miss Liverpool away game after the international break. Would you consider resting them on Sunday if you are the coach? Would you consider resting these players on Sunday against West Ham? After all, you have replacement. But remember, the match against Liverpool away it is going to be tough. These two players, Kukrela and Wesley Fofana, they are both on four yellow cards. And any more yellow cards for them on Sunday will make them to miss the international the, the main game. I mean the next game after the international break against Liverpool. It is an away game. Dear friends, on that note, quickly, let me give you some shout-out. Yes, some shout-out tonight for you guys out there. Let me give some shout-out to my friends. Oh, quickly. Quickly, before the shout out, Sergin Radcliffe to BBC Sport. He said, Whether Eric Ten Hag could be sacked, I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> Sergin Radcliffe was talking to BBC and he was asked whether I said, uh, Eric Ten Hag could be sacked any moment, especially losing this weekend's game. He said, I don't want to answer that question. I like Eric. I think he is a very good coach, but at the end of the day, it's not my call. At the end of the day, it's not going to be his call to sack the, play, the coach or not. He says it's the management team that's running Manchester United that have to decide how we best run the team in many different respects. So there's a team in place. There is a management team in play. They will have to make a decision as to whether to sack Eric Ten Hag or not. If it's up to him, he likes Eric Ten Hag so much. He says, but the team that's running Manchester United has only been together since June or July. They weren't there in January, February, March or April. Omar, that's Bereda, and Dan Ashworth, they only arrived in July. They've only been there. You can count it in weeks almost. 
They've not been there a long time. So they need to take stock and make some sensible decisions. They need to take stock and make some sensible decisions. Our objective is very clear. We want to take Manchester United back to where it should be. And it's not there yet. Obviously, that's very clear. Coming from the new owner or part shareholder, new shareholder, Sergeant Radcliffe. He is just a shareholder in Manchester United right now. In fact, he is the one running the show right now in Manchester United. And this is what he said to BBC Sports yesterday. Dear friends, quickly some shout out to my friends. This one from Lux Rider. He said, Hi, Mr. Salon Blocks. Looks rather from Zambia, up Chelsea. Thanks for giving us news. Big shout out to you, Looks rider from Zambia. Have a great, great evening. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, this one says, Ghanaian leaders just think about themselves. If this incident did not happen, they wouldn't have done anything. Regarding the football pitch, a cross post is going to be used for the Sudan game, yes. If not for FIFA or CAF taking that action, we didn't see that beautiful pitch we saw. That is just the truth. Anyway, he says, Viega was my man of the match. Likewise, myself, Viega was my man of the match. And in fact, both Viega and Moedric, I am finding it difficult to choose from. But I think we have to settle on one, which will be Viega. Big shout out to you, David Wonderson from GH Ghana, from Ghana. David Wonderson from Ghana. Uh, Perpetual Arthur says, that's Ghana for... For you, they only spend on themselves <laughs> regarding the, the pitch and the stadium, right? All right, big shout out to you, Perpetual Alta. Uh, Chris Williams says, Wow, the field is so nice. They only did it recently because of calf ban. Otherwise, if you were to see this for three weeks ago, my dear friend, you'd be very angry with Ghana. The whole of Ghana, not that we don't have the stadium, we have the stadium. To host any kind of tournament, but maintenance until CAF chose to ban Ghana, then only our president stepped in. How to speak to CAF authorities personally before we were allowed and giving time to men. And that's why the past three weeks we can see what we are seeing right now. Chris Williams, thank you so much. Big shout out to you out there. The same thing says, I don't like the international break too. Yes, I also don't like the international break, dear friend. It's not only you. I hate it when it's coming like this. I hate the international break. You know, David Wonderson says, good game, but, but they actually must improve. David from Ghana. We all agree that defense, we need to improve on our defense. Yeah. Uh, the next one says, we are getting there in no time. Kwabla from Ghana, but in Abuja, Nigeria. Big shout out to you, Kwabla from Ghana, but in Abuja, Nigeria. The next one's Frederick Amabe. Frederick Amabe, my good friend, says, Mr. Salon Blog, please, Ngugu needs to start ahead of your Jackson because the competition is high now. Every player needs his time to show up his abilities. Thanks, Frederick Amabe from Biasla State, Nigeria. Big shout out to you, my brother, Frederick Amabe from Biasla State, Nigeria. Patrick Oluwanke says, Good performance for our players. This shows that we have a good bench for EPL. EPL matches, yes, like Man City have. Big shout out to you, Patrick Oluwanke, I believe in Nigeria. The next one says, Chelsea FC still cooking, not done yet. Yes, we are still cooking. We are still cooking, not yet done. Chelsea FC still, still cooking, not yet done. All right? The next one says, good morning, sir. I like the way Chelsea FC team is united. Has one team is giving me joy. I love to watch their match. I don't mind burning data for me to watch the full time. Thank you for my coach for putting smile again in our faces. Thank you once again. My name is Bright Fabian, aka Chelsea Legend, aka Chelsea Legend from Delta State, Nigeria. Big shout out to you, aka Chelsea Legend, Fabian. Bright from Nigeria. Anyway, the next one says Nkuku and Neto need to start in the Premier League. Well, that is your opinion. The name is Macmillan Jackson. Big shout out to you, Macmillan Jackson, wherever you are. 
The next one's coming from Kole, who is Good morning. Enjoy your coffee. Kasadai was my man of the match. He boxed the midfield. Wisdom from Ghana. Jagansen Nkuku Viega can break into the first team. The coach says there's not like the first team or the second team. They are, it's all one team. Big shout out to you, Adeni anyway, Kole, Wisdom from Ghana. All right, the last three before I let you go. Frederick Amabeb says, Please, Mr. Salon Block, I am not a baby when it comes to Chelsea. And for your question, I started watching Chelsea games in the late 80s. Woo, really? And are you aware that Mikel was banned for a year by FIFA when Chelsea and my United are dragging him, Frederick Amabe from Biasla State, Nigeria? Yes, I am aware. But even after settling on that case, when that issue was ongoing, he never sat on a bench. He was not on a bench of Chelsea. It was when the issue was resolved that he began to sat on, sit on a bench. And I remember vividly, I, 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 I'm not, I cannot make a mistake. He himself, he knows. Mikel himself knows that. And no Chelsea fan who has been watching Chelsea for the past, you know, 15 years will doubt or dispute what I'm saying. And you say you're watching Chelsea from the 80s. Wow. On a black and white TV. Because at that time, in the 80s, there was no color TV, you know. Yes, if my memory serves me right. The TVs were those small, small box TVs that you had to mount the, the pole outside. Right? <laughs> you are an old man. If you have been watching Chelsea from your 80s, that means that you are an old man right there. My brother, uh, Frederick, I'm a babe. Anyway, big shout out to you. Anyway, big, big shout out to you, Frederick. I'm a babe. So are you aware that Mikel was okay? The same issue, the same issue. All right, the last but not the least from Chris Williams says Jackson and Duran are at the same level, but Duran is a little bit ahead of Jackson. Well, it depends. The work rate of Jackson is different from Duran. Duran doesn't work as much as Jackson works, but Duran is more clinical. I agree on that front, dear friends. It is late night here. I'll see you guys in the next one when you see me. Shalom. And peace.